intermittent resource is not a problem in this solar uh, utility scale solar. The reason is because as we feed into the, to be able to utilize the grid, it is the utilization of the grid that creates the fluidity across the system. Yeah, yeah. there's no reason, it, if this is a, more of an economic question, it's not a technical question. There, Georgia Power would like you to believe there's a technical problem. You know, they fire the coal fire plant, they got to fire it up. Well, I'm fixing to go look at one in Germany next week that is a 2.2 gigawatt coal fire plant that can drop a gigawatt in 15 minutes. They don't want to stop selling coal. That's all there is to it. So there's intermittency is irrelevant. It's, a, it, it's as irrelevant to as us. Long, as long as you're in the grid. As long as you're in the grid. As long as you have access to the grid. Yeah, it, it doesn't matter just for your house or your business either. If, um, um, that's the purpose of the grid. You know, is they back them. And that's what they don't want to do. They don't want anybody else generating anything else. One, one last real quick comment. Right. Next time you give one of these presentations, I think, it, I mean, it's good for everybody to realize that it's going to reduce their electric bill, but the other thing is jobs. So you need to say, if you were going to do two gigs, how many jobs would that, and what type of jobs that would do? Yes, it, it does mean a lot. And the, the next thing, too, is what is all the cheap kilowatt hours? It's what it does for economy. I actually have a whole other part of this that I do uh, where I calculate property value effectiveness. It's stunning. Enterprise value. You wouldn't believe it. It's, un it's unbelievable. And, and again, I just 